What is up, Nation? Now we're here back again today, and in this video, we got another top five for you. This time, we're running through the wrestling action figures again. We've done Rey Mysterio, we've done John Cena, but today we're going to be doing our top five Jeff Hardy action figures. We ran, the, ran through the collection, picked out some of the best figures that we've got here, uh, and I'm going to show you guys the list in a second. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, turn those notifications on, that way you never miss an upload, live stream, or podcast here in the channel. Join the channel down below, become a soldier of the nation, and receive some exclusive perks, and go follow me over on Instagram at Noah Nation Vlogs and let's get in to my top five Jeff Hardy action figures. All right, guys, over here on the other side of the desk, so let's get into the top five Jeff Hardy action figures in my personal collection. I'm not saying these are the top five Jeff Hardy figures of all time. If I had every single Jeff Hardy figure of all time, this list would probably be completely different. But as for the Mattel Elite and Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardys that I have in my collection. These are the ones I chose to showcase a part of my top five today. So, and uh, when it comes to what figures I picked, I didn't necessarily pick the ones with the best face paint and uh, stuff like that. I more picked ones that obviously have cool designs and uh, and stuff like that, but more based off the errors of Jeff Hardy and the nostalgia for them. So uh, we'll talk about that as we go along here. But let's get into number five on my list. So number five is coming from the Elite Survivor Series line from uh, 2019. I believe it's technically released. I picked it up in 2020, but it is coming from Survivor Series 2006, and that is this Jeff Hardy right now, uh, or right here, excuse me. So the reason I saw this one had to be on the list is because, like I said, this comes from Survivor Series 2006, and I was actually at that event in Philadelphia in 2006, in 2006 excuse me, at uh, what was then known as the Wachovia Center, now known as the Wells Fargo Center. So tons of nostalgia for this Jeff Hardy here. Um, this is his look from that night when he was a part of Team DX versus Team Rated RKO, and they uh, clean sweeped uh, Team Rated RKO in a very fun matchup, a short matchup, but a fun matchup. So just tons of nostalgia for this Jeff Hardy here. Um, this is just a few months after Jeff Hardy's WWE return in 2006. And uh, even though it's a more basic, um, Jeff Hardy look, just, you know, black tank top, black pants. Um, the, the color pop on here would be the arm sleeves. Uh, no face paint or anything like that because he wasn't wearing face paint at the time. Still, like I said, very cool figure, and I have a lot of nostalgia for this era of Jeff Hardy. I believe he was actually the Intercontinental Champion as well going into this show, so I wish they would have included the Intercontinental title with this. But, you know, we've had uh, other figures that have the Intercontinental title uh, with them, so that's fine. But at number five, you got the Survivor Series, I believe, 2019 Elite Jeff Hardy was when... That was released let's put him over there so he's still in the frame but number four on here again talking about the errors and uh and, and stuff like that of jeff hardy number four comes i believe i forgot i should have pulled up the exact elite uh set right here but this one this jeff hardy uh coming from elite set that was re uh, released in 2020 i believe as well um this one obviously based off a 2003 well, i guess late 2002 early 2003 before he left the company uh or was released whatever the hell you want to say jeff hardy now a lot of nostalgia for this jeff hardy as well man like i said based off that error and uh an error that jeff hardy said you know himself that if he didn't have his own problems going on at the time might have been the time where he catapulted to the main event instead of having to wait till 2008 and i mean look at this figure man just super you know cool man not taking anything away from the action figure uh because i didn't just put this on here for the nostalgia as well i mean look at the paint on the arms uh this is when he was just you know even not even wearing uh, well i guess he's, he was wearing the arm sleeve but i mean also just doing the body paint all over the place the face was uh more like that glow in the dark paint from his entrance at the time which was awesome i love the blue um on the arms here and then mixed in with the black sleeve as well the purple short hair very cool as well this one really pops on display man he does come with a t-shirt as well but this is how i display him um in my collection so this elite right here uh released in 2020 based off like i said that uh late 2002 early 2003 era of jeff hardy a very super sick figure there moving on to figure number three on the list now this jeff hardy comes from a ringside ex well, no 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 was it a ringside exclusive well i guess technically it was a ringside exclusive and then uh, i guess they you know shipped their extras onto big lots or wherever the hell people were finding them at but point is this comes from an elite two pack with the game triple h and that's just this jeff hardy right there um from that elite two pack with triple h now this one obviously coming from 2001 when jeff hardy defeated triple h on smackdown in uh i believe like i said i believe it was april or may i believe it was may 2001 to win his first intercontinental championship now the rain might not have lasted long but that is what this figure is based off of and i love the colors here i love that this jeff hardy depicts 
one certain moment it's not like how i mean this one depicts one certain event but this jeff's kind of like an overall and stuff like that this one literally depicts you know that first intercontinental title win for jeff hardy um a legendary moment in in his career so i think that's really cool and like i said it comes in a nice special uh two pack with triple h um they only did so many elite two packs because i guess they really weren't selling that well or whatever the case is but you know from that era when we were getting elite two packs here and there um this is coming from one of those and it's a really nice figure i mean the red really pops on display um, with the red orange and the pink in his hair as well a little bit of pink in there and they get the see-through shirt with the red on there as well the sleeves underneath and of course comes with that intercontinental championship um, my favorite intercontinental championship of all time is that title design right there but it's a really cool jeff hardy man like i said coming with that triple h as well uh, which the triple h figure is a good figure but the jeff hardy is definitely the star of that elite two pack set so at number three from that ringside exclusive elite two pack with triple h you got that 2001 jeff hardy right there same shoes on all of them but you know that's, <laughs> that's how it was um never mind or never mind that but moving on to number two on the list this is a pretty freaking awesome jeff and i want to say this is the first jeff i bought when he returned to the company in 2017 out of you know obviously he was getting a pretty good chunk of figures he's gotten uh, plenty over the years since that return up until his departure but i believe this was the first one i bought upon his return and that is this one right here this is the entrance great jeff hardy now a couple of th things about this hardy as to why i had to be on this list and why it's ranked so high on this list not only is it based off that 2008 2009 era of jeff where he was fighting for the wwe championship fighting for the world championship i actually had this t-shirt uh, by the way, when I was a kid, but it's from that era of Jeff when he was just becoming that main event star on Raw, on SmackDown, mostly on SmackDown, and uh, just, you know, being at, at, the, at the top of his career at that point, so it's from that era, but another thing about this Jeff is that it's not exactly how it, that figure that I'm about to mention was, but it is pretty similar, but this is pretty freaking similar to how his Elite Series 1 figure was supposed to be before it got pulled from the set since he uh, departed the company in 2009 and then obviously there's pictures of that figure out there if i remember i'll try to place a figure or place a picture of that elite series one figure here so it's not exactly the same they made some you know adjustments to make this figure different but you know it is still pretty similar as well similar face paint and and whatnot but it's a really cool face paint design uh with the green right there the purple hair looks very nice as well like i said this t-shirt straight out of 2008 um, i actually had that t-shirt again as a kid so it's nice and then you, know, you get your white arm sleeves and, and stuff like that but i love the era of jeff hardy that it depicts i love the fact that it's very similar to that uh elite series one figure and it's an entrance great uh jeff hardy which was his one and only entrance great and like i said this was the first jeff hardy that i bought upon his return um after all you know the ones that they started coming out with i believe i actually bought this the day before wrestlemania 34 i don't know why i remember that but <laughs> that is a, a little fun fact for you so at number four on this list or excuse me number two on this list the entrance great jeff hardy i bet you guys can probably guess what's at number one if you know my collection if you've seen previous videos but there was one no way that this figure was not going to be on this list and there was no way it wasn't going to be at number one so at number one on the list you guys know it was going to be on here i knew it was going to be on here of course the ultimate edition fan takeover jeff hardy i mean the probably the greatest jeff hardy figure ever released i want to get another one of these to keep mint on card i don't buy all of the ultimate editions i don't buy uh extras to keep mint on card but jeff hardy one of my favorite wrestlers of all time that is something i want to start doing for uh, I want to go back and get an edge when Batista's comes out. I want to get two of his and Jeff Hardy. I want to get two of his to get, uh, you know, all of my top five favorites, which, you know, Jeff is going to have to represent both uh, Hardy boys. But I want, I want to do that. Have one loose ultimate edition, one minute on card for my top five favorites of all time. So we need a Rey Mysterio and Kurt Angle so I can complete that. But this fan takeover, Jeff is super freaking awesome this is depicting the celebration on smackdown for when he won the wwe championship i would have preferred his armageddon gear which is one of the uh um attires that fans could have chose um from when choosing what or when excuse me voting for what attire this ultimate edition was going to be made of since that was the actual event that he won the championship was armageddon 2008 however we got this instead this attire is based off just a few days later again on smackdown when he was having his championship celebration for finally winning the wwe championship but i love this era jeff just like how we were talking about there this just depicts that time when he was on top of smackdown on top as wwe champion again this is just a few days removed from uh, beating triple h and edge at armageddon so it's just a, a great era of smackdown man jeff hardy was arguably the most popular person in the company at this time even more popular i'd say than john cena i mean john cena 
in popularity wise always had the love and hate of the crowd but i mean who hated jeff hardy during this time man got to be the most over person uh baby face wise in the company i mean it, it can it can be debated but you can make a very strong case for jeff hardy and this figure is just absolutely awesome it's an ultimate edition which makes it even better uh these these always fall out but let's see if we can get it in there there you go WWE Championship's falling over as well. And I remember being a little skeptical about how the cloth um, tank top was going to be. When I saw pictures of it online, I thought it looked a little weird. But in person, it looks a lot better. Uh, obviously, we're months removed from this figure releasing. But it's just an absolutely awesome Jeff Hardy figure. Tons of good detail. Um, and they just absolutely knocked one out of the park with the Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy. So you guys knew, again, that it was going to be on this list. I knew it was going to be on this list. And I knew it just absolutely had to be number one on this list for my favorite Jeff Hardy figures in the collection. So that would be the top five right there. Um, you got Survivor Series 06 Jeff Hardy. You have the 2002-2003 Jeff Hardy. The Elite 2-Pack 2001 Jeff Hardy right there in the middle. Entrance Great Jeff and Ultimate Edition Jeff. My top five favorite Jeff Hardy action figures in the collection. Let's hop over to the other side of the desk and let's wrap up this video. Alrighty guys, and that is going to do it for this video. My top five favorite Jeff Hardy action figures in my personal collection. Let me know your favorite Jeff Hardy figure of all time down below in the comments. But overall guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn those notifications on, that way you never miss an upload live stream or a podcast here on the YouTube channel. Hit the join button down below, become a soldier of the nation and receive some exclusive perks right here on the No Nation YouTube channel as well. And go follow me over on Instagram at Vlogs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. More content to come. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.